class of 2015 has joined the real world, and not all graduates aspire to traditionally parent-sanctioned careers. It's always this stigma or this almost laughable moment when someone says, I want to be an artist. Ebony Simpson is executive director of the Newark Arts Organization City Without Walls. She wants to make sure artistic kids don't shy away from their passions and aren't flying blind either. The organization's ArtReach program is now in its 23rd year of pairing high school students with professional artists for a semester-long crash course on the industry. If it's your career track, you have to take it seriously from now on. That means addressing everything from training and technique to economics and networking. Students and mentors are painstakingly paired based on their artistic mediums of choice. Tamika Bradshaw worked with high school junior Denisha Griffin. She said their discussions went far beyond a shared love for acrylic and oil paints. Having to buy your materials, what it looks like in the studio, what it means you know, to prioritize your time. So we did talk about it, but for the most part we actually was in it. That's what makes the experience unique. It's a closer relationship between the um, mentor and the mentee. In school, they don't really go as in depth on like what you're supposed to be doing, but he taught me like more into it and how like to mix the colors and to like make it pop more. The take home lessons are substantial, but so is the commitment. City Without Walls offers students a stipend to offset costs and help compensate for time that might be otherwise spent at an after school job. Because we want you to be an artist first. We don't want you to stop midway because you don't have a way to your artist studio. You don't have money to get supplies. For students and parents concerned about financial stability long term, arts education advocate Bob Moore Morrison points to the acquired skills you can't see displayed on canvas. In a poll that was uh, published by Business Week, they identified creativity as the number one um, skill that they were looking for in uh, today's workforce. There's a number of fields that, that, that students that have artistic training can go into. Simpson agrees, and her takeaway to parents and teachers is this. There's so many careers that lend themselves to art um, that students don't know exist. If your student comes to you and says, I want to be an artist, don't laugh them away. The Arts Reach program culminates in this gallery show of students' works alongside their mentors. The exhibit runs through July 9th. In Newark, I'm Maddie Orton for NJTV News.